continent's end. At the equinox, when the earth was veiled in a late rain, wreathed with wet poppies, waiting spring, the ocean swelled for a far storm and beat its boundary. The groundswell shook the beds of granite. I, gazing at the boundaries of granite and spray, the established sea marks, felt behind me mountain and plain, the immense breadth of the continent, before me the mass and doubled stretch of water. I said, You yoke the Aleutian seal rocks with the lava and coral sowings that flower the south. Over your flood the life that sought the sunrise faces ours that has followed the evening star. The long migrations meet across you, and it is nothing to you. You have forgotten us, mother. You were much younger when we crawled out of the womb and lay in the sun's eye on the tide line. It was long and long ago. We have grown proud since then, and you have grown bitter. Life retains your mobile, soft, and quiet strength, and envies hardness, the insolent quietness of stone. The tides are in our veins. We still mirror the stars. Life is your child. But there is in me older and harder than life and more impartial. The eye that watched before there was an ocean. That watched you fill your beds out of the condensation of thin vapor and watched you change them. That saw you soft and violent wear your boundaries down, eat rock, shift places with the continents. Mother, though my song's measure is like your surf beat's ancient rhythm, I never learned it of you. Before there was any water, there were tides of fire. Both our tones flow from the older fountain.